sometimes we we not we agents in general may be afraid to have that conversation with that seller about you know this 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 could happen this could happen that could happen you know especially when they're going to be so excited about that over value offer and all of a sudden you're like you don't say anything to them then the deal falls apart and all of a sudden they're annoyed at you and it's all your fault because you didn't set the right expectations you know there was one thing when i when i actually sold real estate there was a list I had a list of um it was like 95 different turbulences 95 things that can go wrong during the real estate transaction Tur and i would give it to every turbulence I like that. Turbulence. Okay. No, no, keep going. I like it. Just wanted to clarify. Okay. It was like 95 turbulences or 104 turbulences, whatever it was. And um, it had an airplane on it. It's ways to explain it. I say, okay, if you're if you're my seller, I'll give you the give you this. Everybody yes. write this, this down and record it. I'm going with this. This is good. So Mr. 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 Seller, I I'm I'm like the pilot on your real estate journey. And my job is to get you from point A to point B as safely and as quickly as easy as possible. However, there are times that turbulence just shows up. And just as a pilot, you don't run up and start banging on the pilot's door. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? The pilot grabs on the mic and says, hey, we're going to hit some turbulence. Tighten your seatbelt. We'll be okay. Get around it. Buckle up. And you hit a turbulence. You hit a bump here. You hit a bump here or there. And um, you're, then you're fine. But you leave it up to the pilot. Why? Because of their expertise. So here's a list of 95 things that can go wrong during the transaction. I may call you up and say, Hey, look at number 45, because these are things that are outside my control. However, just like the pilot, I'm going to do my best to navigate us through that situation. Uh, that's stick it so on good. Your, I like that. Stick it on your refrigerator. And well, th that and you can even say like, my... just like a pilot, right? To even go a little bit deeper with this, just like a pilot, when I see the storm coming ahead of us, you know what I can do rather than wait and try to ride out the storm? I can go, you know what we should do? I see a storm coming up. Let's increase our altitude and get above the clouds and we'll be smooth sailing because if it looks like a storm is coming, guess what? They're probably coming. So let's get prepared. And this is the thing. Could you come up with a list of the most Damn, common that things good. that go right? <laughs> Could you come up with what I said or what you said? Both combined. So could you come up with a list of like legitimately, you know, sorry, I'm getting tons of alerts here. Um, a There's list a new of feature on your phone now. Yeah, I just did that. A list of 75 things that could go wrong during the transaction. Like not your full things. Could you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I have a list called these things will happen and it's worst case scenarios so that we so then what you do, you make that the list and you hand, and this is the thing. We're afraid to send it to a seller, afraid to give it to someone. Oh no, I don't want them to know what can go wrong. That's when they're annoyed at you. That's when the, would you say we were calling this when the hits the, the what? Fit. The fit hits the shan. The fit hits the shan. That's when the fit hits the shan. And I'm going to mess that up. That's the reason why I don't want to say that. <laughs> but it's, it's the truth. Yeah. So why don't we tell them, and listen, and I've said it before and I, and I know I've said it on this podcast, not, not another one. All relationships succeed or fail based upon the meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. Based, based upon the sharing and meeting of expectations. If I tell you what to expect of me and you tell me what I can expect you, we agree what these expectations are, our relationship will succeed. The problem is when I don't share my expectations, you don't share your expectations, all of a sudden there's a line drawn in the sand. No one knows what's happening. Someone crosses that line. All of a sudden, the relationship blows up. Right. So we try to... We tried to set the expectation with those sellers and buyers that, hey, I'm a professional, I'm a professional, I'm a professional, I'm a professional, I'm a professional. Great. But as a professional, you know this things can go wrong. I don't want a doctor who tells me, listen, I've done this, I've done this surgery 30,000 times, 100% chance of success. I'm, right. Bull. I, I get you have a no, I get you have a hundred percent success rate. But right. what's the overall success rate for whatever you're doing? The surgery. Oh no, right. it did that. Don't worry about it. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. I want to know. What if you're out sick? What if you sneeze, get a bloody nose in the middle of the surgery, have to leave, and another doctor comes in? Like, a doctor will sit there and be like, hey, this is what can happen. This is best case scenario. This is worst case scenario. This is highly unlikely it's going to happen. But let's, but there's a the thing. In the middle of the surgery, you don't stop the doctor. In the middle of the plane, you don't stop the pilot. If you're on, if you're on, if you're on a boat, you don't run up and start yelling at the captain because you hit a wave. 
you let them do it based upon their expertise. And a good captain of a boat is going to say, you know what? It could be a little rough out there today. I looked. Charts, everything says it's going to be beautiful, but you never know. It could be a little rough. That's why we have life jackets. So when I tell you, hey, put your life jackets on, put your life jackets on, but understand I got this. Why don't we approach our real estate business that way? Tell them what's wrong. 